China's ambassador to Canada told Canadian reporters that allegations of genocide of the Uyghurs are, quote, the lies of the century. What do you make of that? We have uh, and will continue to take very seriously the very credible reports of human rights re abuses uh, in, uh, in Xinjiang, uh, in China, perpetrated against the Uyghurs by the Chinese state. Uh, there are significant uh, concerns uh, being expressed all around the world, and uh, the Parliament of Canada was very clear about its concerns uh, just a few weeks ago. We have committed to work with our allies internationally on both uh, getting clear answers uh, and holding to account those responsible with uh, possible consequences that the world uh, can bring forward. Uh, but this is something that is much better done on a multilateral uh, basis over the past many years, including uh, a couple of occasions directly to Chinese leadership. Uh, we have expressed our deep concern for the situation uh, facing the Uyghurs, uh, and uh, we will continue to do that alongside our allies to make sure that we are actually having an impact on, uh, on uh, what's happening to, uh, to that community. And just as a follow-up, in that same news conference, uh, reporters asked the ambassador whether or not the case of Meng Wanzhou and the two Michaels are connected, and he said, quote, there's no connection between the cases. They're totally different. Do you agree with that? No. It is obvious uh, that the two Michaels were arrested on trumped-up national security charges days after we fulfilled our uh, extradition treaty responsibilities towards uh, towards uh, our uh, our ally, the United States. Uh, Chinese officials at the time were very clear that they absolutely uh, were connected as uh, as a frame, uh, and nothing uh, the ambassador can say now will uh, will dissuade me from uh, understanding that that is indeed the case.